there was a nice article about why one should... <laughs> I already read the headline, man. Uh, is that a good or a bad thing, bro? Despite having just 5.8 sales, over 38 of bug reports come from the Linux community. If I read this headline, it means that Linux has more issues than Windows. The report coming out of the Linux community does not mean they are Linux only issues cakes. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so basically the Linux community is more active on giving you bug reports than the Windows, Windows community because the Windows guys are more lazy. That's essentially what I get from the trailer. So you, you Windows nerds out there who find a bug, you're just not reporting it. Why are you doing that? You should be reporting bugs. But you know, to be honest, like, I don't report bugs either. <laughs> like, if I find a bug in a game, I mostly just quit or I just keep on playing. Yeah, finding a bug equals uninstalling this game, exactly. Okay, my game, Rings of Saturn shameless plug oh i need to do that too very nice good plug brother 50 percent off right now Ooh, oh wow very positive reviews 2000 it looks like it's a space game okay is out in early access for two years now aha and as you can expect there are bugs I, but i find that but i but i well, but i did find that a disproportionately big amount of these bugs was reported by the players using linux to play i started to investigate and my findings did surprise me let's talk numbers percentages are easy to talk about when i just read them i always wonder what's the simple size the sample size is it small enough for the percentage to be just noise as of today I sold over 12,000 units in total. 700 of these units were bought by Linux users. That's 5.8%. He sold about 1,000 units on the other game, I think, and he had 28 Linux users. So what I'm talking about, to give you guys some context, we were talking about a game developer who recently released his game and he made 60,000 in one month, essentially. That was the Steam revenue. And then you have to do a bunch of deductions to get to a final salary of, I think it was like something along the lines of 28,000 to 30,000, something like that, you know, because of taxes and Steam refunds and the 30% cut of Steam as well. Essentially, though, he sold about a thousand units and then only 28 on Linux. And so we were talking about how it makes more sense to develop on Windows for the Windows community, aka only for Windows first, and then maybe later on to add Windows, uh, Linux. And then, you know, Travis Roman chimed in as of saying that, okay, most of his income through YouTube and stuff like that is from Linux users. And now this guy is actually saying that the linux users are more active in reporting bugs i got 1040 bug reports in total out of which roughly 400 are made by linux players that's one percent well that's one report per 11.5 users on average so the linux users are doing the well actually your game has a bug here sir this is not supposed to happen you know if i was programming this game on my linux machine i would have done it differently that's a bug 100%. And then they would also plug their Linux version they're using and the operating system. Which kernel version? Of course. You know, that has to be done. And one report per 1.5, 1.75 Linux users. <laughs> I love Linux. Arch, by the way. <laughs> That's right. An average Linux player will get you 650% more bug reports. Damn, we need to get those Linux users on board. 100%. I think it's also Linux doesn't get tested as much. Yeah, but let's see. Wrong. A lot of extra work for just 5.8% extra units, right? Wrong. Bugs exist whenever you know about them or not. Do you know how many of these 400 bug reports were actually platform specific? Three. Holy shit. So he found three platform specific bugs that were maybe you know the sound didn't work or the graphics didn't work very well on linux but literally only three things were problems that came out just on linux damn so that was the big question right okay linux platform is just bad no apparently it's not the rest of them were affecting everyone the thing is the linux community is exceptionally well trained in reporting bugs yeah because these guys are usually more tech affine 
Like, for the most part, whenever I talk to friends and they had no idea about computers, they would just tell me they use Windows. But for the most part, any tech-related users that I found or, like, friends that I found and talked with, most of them would plug their Linux kernel version to me. <laughs> you know, so, like, and then, you know, they would tell me, about like, how Linux is superior and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So they, they, they are more into tech. And so they, they recognize these things much easier. It makes sense. Cool. This is just one open source way. This 5.8% of players found 38% of all the bugs that affected everyone. Just like having your own 700 person strong Q80. <laughs> Good thing that we have somewhat of a Linux support in the game or in the engine already. That was not... 38% extra work for me. It was just free QA. Man. But that's not all. The report quality is stellar. Oh, damn. I mean, we have all seen bug reports like it crashes for me after a few hours. Do you know what a developer can do with such a report? Feel sorry at best. You can't really fix a bug unless you can replicate it. Yeah. See it with your own eyes. Peek inside and finally see that it's fixed. Yeah. True. Which is why I'm thinking about doing, and this was just a thought after watching the video yesterday about how to make a really interesting and engaging game that's not tedious or boring or frustrating. This guy was collecting data from each playthrough. And as far as I could tell, he managed to even turn some of that data back into video or the user supplied him with video. I was thinking about a way where I could record the input the player has in the game and then i would just replay that input and basically have us uh, have a uh, what is it called a video for me so i replay the input maybe in twice the speed and then have a video feed on how the player played through the game but i don't know how much that's possible but yeah that, that's beside the point um yeah feel sorry at best and with bug reports from linux players is just something else you get all of the software OS versions. <laughs> and they, they plug the Linux version in the title, <laughs> you know, in the header of the email, and then maybe in the footer, the footer of the email. Yeah, all the logs. You get the core dumps, and you get replication steps. Damn, I use that by the way, hundred <laughs> percent. Sometimes I got with the layer player over Discord, and we quickly iterated a few versions with progressive fixes to isolate the problem you just don't get that kind of engagement from anyone else true true that's cool that's cool very good to know worth it oh yes at least for me not for the extra sales although it's nice it's worth to get the massive feedback boost and free 100 people strong qa team on your side an invaluable asset for an independent game studio studio that's actually really cool i never thought uh, i never saw it this way that's actually a really nice reason to have at least linux we're not talking about mac so if you guys want to know the article and read it for yourself maybe some of the comments engage with this interesting advertise a game on gaming you do left in controversial at linux support and advertise a game on linux gaming suddenly you get a lot of support and interest in your game Oh, this guy's smart. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. We found a new marketing technique as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing. And then we, I'm going to title my Reddit post, Tested Theory of Linux Players Giving Feedback About My Game or something like that. that. And then we're going to add a shameless plug in there too nice another plus that the linux reddit community is happy for you to post your game there yeah added to expand on what the linux and linux gaming both gave me 600 plus upvotes and the con conversation was a lot higher than from your normal gaming subs yeah at the time i had on i had it on edge where people can pay f uh, pay you more for the game they were incredibly generous holy shit guys linux people i see so here's what we need to do okay we maximize this we're going to put our game on itch you know maybe for free maybe not and then we advertise it advertise it you know test the theory here on the subreddit <laughs> You know, we are reinventing the wheel with this one, boys. Yeah, arch users loaded because save so much money from not going on dates. 
Ah, I see. Yeah, the Linux users seem to have more money than everyone else. Hey, Linux user here. I'd like to thank you on behalf of the community for sharing your game with us. Even though Proton made gaming 100 levels better, native title always wins. Why? Proton doesn't always work. Literally only three things. This is the information that I firmly believe is missing from numerous numerous others. Linux users have disproportionately high number of bug reports post. As you note, Linux users are trained one to actually submit bug reports and rather than just complain to their friends on social media and two are trained to make high quality reports that ex effectively assist the developer in resolving the issue. That is very cool to know. We need that QA team as well. 